I'm Swasti Bhattacharya, and I, I call myself an applied ethicist. I've been interested in looking at learning from some women that live in India who are part of an intentional community, and they live together since 1959, and their goal is to gain spiritual development as a community of women. And so that's one of the things that make them fairly unique. These are women who were followers of Vinoba Bhave, who was a disciple, friend, confidant of Gandhi. And they live out principles of nonviolence on a daily basis. In a nutshell, what I've learned that they do, I, I say that they live close to the earth. Um, you know, I was digging up potatoes in the morning and we were eating them at lunch the next day. Uh, they eat, they grow about 70 to 80 percent of their own food. So one of the sisters said they have been unsuccessful since they're not 100 percent self-sufficient, but they try to be. They work on a consensus decision-making process and I thought that was really interesting where, because they said, and they articulated this, they said um, by taking a vote and going off of the vote of the majority, there's a subtle form of violence in that the minority voice is silenced. And so they don't want to do that. They're not constrained by the limits of time. If their meeting goes over, they go over. If they continue the conversation tomorrow, they can. They make their own cloth, so kadi is hand-spun cotton, and part of that, and again, one of the sisters clearly articulated that the reason they wear kadi is that they don't have to worry about who was oppressed or suppressed or caused to suffer the making of, for the making of their clothes. They spin it, they get it woven, and then they sew it themselves. I gained a new appreciation for that, for recycling, because when you spun that cloth, when it has a hole in it, you don't just go out and buy another one. You patch it up and you wear it till you can't wear it anymore. So the, the third point there is that whole idea of um, sustainability, meaning to not be wasteful and be very mindful of what you're wasting.